16th October Saint Hedwig Religious Optional Memoria Born in Bavaria about the year 1174 she married the duke of Silesia by whom she had seven children her life was renowned for her devotion and for her kindness to the sick and poor for whom she built hostels on the death of her husband she retired to a monastery in Trebnitz where she died in the year 1243 a reading from the life of saint hedwig written by a contemporary author she was always longing for god this servant of god was well aware that those living stones which were to be laid in the building of the heavenly jerusalem had to be trimmed clean in this world by much hammering and chipping she knew that many tribulations had to be endured if she wants to cross over to the splendor of heaven the homeland of glory therefore she laid herself wide open to the flood waters of suffering and unrelentingly subdued her own body by the scourge of many chastisements for she was so severe with herself by great fasts and acts of abstinence every day that many were amazed how a woman so frail and delicate could ever endure such sufferings but the more persistent she was in mortifying her flesh by constant afflictions though she always kept within the bounds of discretion the more progress she made in strengthening her spirit and advancing in grace she found that there was enkindled within her a spreading flame of devotion and divine love more often too she found herself lifted up and swept into god's presence by a desire so blazing that she lost the use of her bodily senses and did not notice things that were happening around her and just as she was always longing for god with heartfelt love at the same time she devoted herself to caring for her neighbor with a charity that proved itself in good works generously giving alms to all who needed them she came to the aid of communities of men and women who lived the religious life whether they were dwelling enclosed in monasteries or worked outside in the world of widows and orphans of the sick and the weak of lepers and those who were in prison or bound in irons of pilgrims and poor women who had infants to nourish she never permitted anyone who came to her for help to go away unaided and because this servant of god never omitted any good deed which lay in her power god in his turn gave her this special grace that when she found herself without means or when her own strength was beginning to flag she would be enabled by the divine power of christ's passion to achieve whatever was acquired of her in meeting the needs of her neighbors and so it was god's good will and pleasure that she was able to help all who looked to her to relieve their bodily or spiritual sufferings